What is up, Max Made Easy fans? Today, well, it's supposed to be Math Monday, I know, but it is a holiday. It is Veterans Day. You know, Math Made Easy don't take holidays, but the people at Math Counts do, I guess. So, problem of the week isn't up. So, we're going to be doing an old AMC 8 problem because the AMC 8 is coming up this week. Good luck to all of those who are taking it. Um, so, I'll do one last problem to get you guys prepared for that, and then I'll probably start doing AMC 10 and 12. Um... But yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. This is a logic problem. But as you can see, I'm sitting in a chair. I injured myself. I was skiing um, on Saturday. I injured myself. Probably, probably uh, tore an ACL is the, what I'm really showing all the symptoms of. Um, so that'll be a pretty long recovery. Hopefully we'll have math made easy episodes standing up by... January or February, but for now, get used to me in this nice little rolly chair. I love the rolly chair. Without further ado, let's get going. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The digits 1 through 5 are each used once to make a number P, Q, R, S, T. PQR is divisible by 4, QRS is divisible by 5, and RST is divisible by 3. What is P? Question. Okay. This is logic you are about to witness here. So let's let's go. First thing I notice is, okay, this is divisible by 5. What is that? It's QRS. What is what does that mean? Well, it means that of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. We can only find one of these in the number divisible by five, and that's this one. So that means that automatically we already got one. T. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm a noob. I'm a noob. Um, S equals five. Epic. So now let's keep going up. So what about PQR? Is over by four. That means that when a number is divisible by an even number, that means that that number must also be even. What are the two even numbers we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4? Well, 2 and 4. Let's try 2 first on the, on the um, R. Well, if 2, well, if it's 2, then 250 something must equal, must be divisible by 3. Well, 252 is divisible by 3, and 255 is divisible by 3, but you notice the 2 and the 5 can't be t because they're already taken, right? Not epic, right? The only number that can be, um, like, like t would have to be either 1, 3, or 4 in this, in this instance. So, that means r cannot be 2. If r is 4, then, well, 453 would be divisible by 3. And 453 is totally legit because this 3 hasn't been used yet. So now we see R equals 4. And then T equals 3. Epic. So now we got 4 and 3. So we just got to find out P or Q equals 1 or 2. Well, we know that 100 is, is divisible by 4. So when we're looking at a three-digit number which here gets divisible by 4, we can just kind of imagine this doesn't exist. Okay, that P does not exist. Well, 14 divisible by 4? No, 24 divisible by 4? Yes. That means Q, that's kind of not really looking like a Q, equals 2. And then P, the only thing it's able to equal is 1. That's the episode. Excited to see you in the next one. Hopefully, the problem of the week tomorrow if they upload it. But for now, my name is Malcolm Easy. Peace out.